guys it's laurel um this is my second video for today i don't normally do multiple it's actually funny because i was just thinking how like man i haven't done video in a while like then i had this epic fail this morning and you can see more about that up there and i thought i was good for videos for today but then we found out from my husband's client that the client tested positive for covid my husband had been in close quarters with him so we went and got tested and the test results came back positive. So um, symptom wise, ours are mild um, and a big disclaimer, it's not to, to downplay it. Um, our neighbor actually had a friend who was 40 and perfectly healthy who caught COVID and died. So this video isn't, you know, by any means to downplay the, the severity of COVID. But for me, I do feel like I have a cold. Um, I don't feel so great. And we've probably had it for about a week now because my husband was exposed for about a week ago. The biggest thing that I'm thinking about um, having had the results come back and I kind of armed myself with this information before we came, I talked about it with my husband, is the nocebo effect. And if you haven't read it, if you're thinking about like any kind of health consideration, whether COVID or any health problem you're battling, I highly recommend reading You Are the Placebo by Dr. Dispenza because he just has like a ton of data in it. And one thing that he talked about that I had never heard about, and he backs it up with research, is the nocebo effect. And the, another word for that, and he uses this a lot more often, is the voodoo curse. And in the book, he talks about somebody that was, he was, I think, of the, the Santeria religion, and he had then placed a voodoo curse, okay? And he went to the doctors, and his body started shutting down and dying, and the doctors were asking him, well, what happened? What happened? He's like, I've been cursed. I've been cursed. And he ended up passing away from this curse. And so that's kind of an extreme example. But there are more in the book um, about people that thought they had been touched by poison ivy. And they actually, like, had a rash form and stuff like that. So the nocebo effect is very real. And sort of one of the major theses of the book is that your brain is very, very powerful in producing actual physical, uh, physiological effects. So if you think that you're sick, right? You think you ate a tainted hot dog, right? Uh, you may actually very well make yourself sick because you believe it. And that's not to say that science isn't real. It is very real. But in our case, I was very conscious of n trying to not allow the voodoo curse to happen when we got our, our positive results back. And so for us, what that looks like is that means, yeah, we're going to quarantine and yeah, we're going to be careful. We're going to definitely try to like not spread it to anyone but we're not going to dwell too much on the symptoms we're not going to dwell too much on oh my god I have this thing my husband's asthmatic you know so we could be we have reason to be concerned but we're not going to let ourselves go there emotionally we're not going to give ourselves buy into the voodoo curse what we are going to buy into is the fact that we create our reality with our intentions and our emotions that we put out into the field. And then what we're practically going to do is we're going to do Blessing of the Energy Center in the morning and we're going to just try and rest as much as we can. And actually we're just gonna try and besides quarantining, um, just try and be normal and, and work when we can, you know, with our energy permits. Um, and to not allow that voodoo curse to really dominate our life, you know, and our, our destiny, so to speak. We're going to walk, as Dr. Dispenza says we're into our future and our future is being healed so we're going to walk as healed people we're going to talk as healed people we're going to behave as healed people so anyway it's just funny things happen in your life i'm not even mad you know i i don't feel like oh i've been doing all this meditation and man i got covid i don't feel mad i just feel like things happen in life and we react to them and we can't really control what happens to us but we can always control our reactions so yeah, <laughs> I thought actually a lot about the way I behaved earlier today because I've been getting some advice, like some of it's been like a little bit like annoying and pushy. And I, in the last video, see, I really kind of blew up on somebody earlier today. It was really weird. And I decided to rehearse not blowing up on people and being kind and gracious to people and being a higher energy person. So it's 
yeah, it's a lot of practice. There's so many things about this work to practice, and that's what makes this work so wonderful. So, as always, I appreciate you guys um, following. And if you've had any similar experiences of having like a really scary diagnosis or something, and uh, your experiences and like kind of combating the negative energy, I'd love to see your comments on it. So please feel free to comment below. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. Bye, guys.